welcome to Everett Cole's English Finger Spaniel Channel. This is a, what a dog show looks like. Amber's been at the dog show now for two days. This is her second day. Today wasn't our last day, but that's okay. We won yesterday twice and she's got her first two points. And today our friend got the points, so that was great. We're really happy for them. And it'll be another day at the dog show when next weekend is over. Right now they're doing it's called the group. So all of the special stuff in here is our work. is just super excited that there's dogs here. She's having a wonderful time. And we are headed out today. This is our last year. We just did two days here in Montreal. And we'll be next weekend at the Ottawa Dog Show next weekend. We have no competition, so we may just go to one day on the Sunday and take Ember and Cole, because Cole's entered as well, the veteran. So that'll be a fun day all around. And Ember will get to go in this field, because it's quite a dog group. Guys, good job, Emma. Look at that. Well, yeah, she big smiles. You Thank you, dude.
her dog clothes. Hi, Daddy. She's allowed to dig again. Yeah, she's been digging holes. Have you been digging holes? Remember? Show dogs don't dig holes. What's that? What's that? Show dogs don't dig holes. <laughs> so I just wanted to update you about Ember and her first dog show. Uh, she did really well the first two day. The first day she had two shows in one day, and she went. She won her class, which was just her, and then she won one winners female, and then she went best of opposite. So she did that twice on Saturday, and then on the Sunday she won her class because she was only her, and then the other female beat her that day. So we didn't get any points on Sunday. But we did pick up two points Saturday, so she now has eight more points that she needs for her championship. So as my husband said, she's 20% of a champion now. <laughs> So if you haven't seen the one about explaining the ribbons, I'm just going to show you a quick little glimpse here. This blue one here, she won for first in her class, which was open female. So she won this one first. And then she went against all the other females. So the puppies, six to nine months, nine to 12 months, open, Canadian bred by, Canadian um, bred, bred by, all those things. And then she went winner. So she was the first female in those. There was just her and another female that was in a puppy group. So she won that one. And then she went in with the special. There was one special, a male, and he won best of breed. So she went best of opposite sex. So that's this pretty green and white one here. I was also going to show you what my judging schedule looked like. So they get, it used to be, they would send this to you in the mail. Now you get an email with a link to the judging schedule and it tells you each day what ring you're in and who your judge is and your group. So we are group one over here. We were ring two, group one sporting dog. This is our first judge. At 9 a.m. they had all of these dogs. And at 10.30 a new section was going on and that's where we were here, three English Springer Spaniels. So each, to tell exactly what time, so they can't start this group here anytime but before 10.30, so we're good for that. Then I counted up how many dogs were before me, and then you do, I think it's two and a half minutes or, per dog, something like that, and you multiply that, it gives you kind of an estimated time. So I had an estimated 11.23 a.m. that we were in. I think we went in maybe at 11.40, it depends if the judge is slower, faster, sometimes it can be faster, so you kind of want to get up there. We aim to get up there by these vislas. Um, for the next day we did the next one this is the next this was Sunday so see here it was 1020 again I aim for 1108 we went up there somewhere where these visas were we were a little bit early so we had quite a few dogs ahead of us uh, but it was all good experience for Ember and she could then um, just kind of get used to the surroundings see what the judges rings look like all those sort of things the only thing we didn't do we haven't practiced i'm going to try to do that in the next week or two they had what's called a ramp which went up to a table for the english winter spaniels usually you judge them on the ground um, but since cole has been a puppy they've started doing this and they had them at the show but we never used one because it was so hot they didn't have the table out um, so we're gonna have to practice on that because we've never been on that before and I don't want her to go in the ring and be surprised at a table but she loves doing picnic tables and she just went up into the U-Haul that we had for our trip just before so I think she'll be fine but anyways so we missed our Ottawa dog show uh, the past coming weekend because we had to go out east um, so we were gone for a week Ember came with us so there'll be a video up after this one of our journey out to Nova Scotia and uh, Ember's trip and her first time seeing the ocean so that will be exciting and then Ember has another show in about two or three weeks in um, that we're going to in Kingston and then hopefully one uh, the end of June beginning of July so she's got a busy busy couple of shows coming up but she did really well she was a really good girl she no it wasn't nervous she was just really really good like she was an old pro here she's just gonna have a nap on the step now and uh so thank you so much for watching ember and cole's english Springer spaniel family channel and you'll see cole hopefully at the next show too we'll have them both at the next show and we can have some little video of the two of them together at a dog show we'll see how that goes but anyways thank you for watching please subscribe take care bye